We are a technology aggregator and our mission is to uh, reduce the technology friction. What is technology friction is the distance between technology adoption to technology innovation. And we always see that technology innovation is must fa much faster than technology adoption. And this is the role we are playing. We are bringing the latest and greatest technology from all over the globe to Saudi Arabia, hoping to help achieve Vision 2030. Um, I guess we are still scratching the surface in uh, Saudi Arabia's digital transformation journey. Um, for someone who has been living here for uh, 20 plus years, um, I have personally, personally uh, witnessed the uh, changes and how, how the adoption of, uh, of digital tools and the digital transformation has positively impacted our lives in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Um, and the beauty of what's happening uh, in Saudi that uh, this transformation is being led by, by the government. Uh, usually in such uh, digital transformation activities, um, the, the small and medium enterprises as well as the large enterprises, uh, they drive uh, this transformation and then the government uh, follows. Uh, it's happening the other way around in Saudi Arabia. And we can see that the government is leading into the digital transformation. Uh, we are still uh, in a very early stage of digital transformation. Um, and we look ahead for a, for a great journey uh, for all of us in Saudi Arabia. The consistent growth uh, in, in the IT industry spending in Saudi is coming from small and medium enterprises. Um, and this is in line uh, with, the, with the Vision 2030 direction. Um, at the beginning of the vision, the contribution to SMEs, uh, to GDP, uh, was around 20%. And um, the Vision 2030 uh, direction was to take that contribution to 35%. Uh, by 2030. Uh, as per the latest report, we hold around 29% now. We, we, we are at around 29%. So you can see a consistent growth coming from the small and medium enterprises. And that growth will al always come accompanied with, accompanied with a lot of spending on uh, digital transformation in IT, because these are the drivers of the economy. Um, the business model change, we, we are ever evolving as a company. We continue to evolve to match the requirement of, um, of the market that we operate, operate in. Um, we do what's required for, uh, for the market and we keep changing. We, we, as Reddington, we moved from being a distributor or a box mover uh, to being a technology aggregator. Today, we, we not only provide products, but we provide services, solutions, and softwares as well. Um, we provide different, we work on different business models, we work on subscription, we work on renewals, um, we work, we also have different practices of cybersecurity uh, and cloud computing. We talked earlier about the digital transformation and how this is part of Vision 2030. Um, but part of the tech stack of, uh, of Vision 2030 is how Saudi can be leader in, in AI uh, and, and machine learning. And the investments that's been placed on, um, on AI are, are massive. Uh, the second part is cloud computing. Uh, the third part is on uh, cyber security, um, and of course, gaming and so many other stacks comes there uh, in, in digital transformation and in Vision 2030 uh, ambitious, uh, ambitious goal. As, um, as Reddington, um, we have taken uh, the, the ambitious goals of Vision 2030 and um, we have structured ourselves accordingly to help 
the government in facilitating the achievement of this, of this vision. So we are going after each and every segment um, of, uh, of the vision and then trying to add value. It's the talent, the talent gap. Um, I think that's the biggest challenge uh, today in, in the tech industry in Saudi Arabia. Um, the, the outdated uh, infrastructure uh, for us forms an opportunity. I'll give you an example of one of our latest uh, programs we launched called the Najm program. Um, it's a program that is direct, that is focused around uh, young local talents. Um, that we are onboarding from, from um, reputed universities, undergraduate and management training programs. Um, and then we are taking into a one-year uh, program of uh, involving them in all the activities of the, uh, of the company. Um, what we care about is the inclusiveness. Um, and we believe if, if these local talents are well included within the organizational culture, well invested in, in terms of training, uh, we can bridge this, uh, this gap going forward.